Well, neighborhoods are also experiencing pipe problems. Local plumbers say they're swamped because of scenes like this one. Pipes inside this home in Norfolk exploded overnight, causing icicles to form on the ceiling and uh, toilets to freeze. All week we've been showing you how to help prevent disasters like this from happening. Ten of your side's Liz Palka has more on what's becoming a pretty big problem for a lot of homeowners. Liz? Oh, well, Nicole, the woman we spoke to today has faced a disaster this week. First, the boiler broke, and then the radiators burst, and then, well, all the water froze. Now she has to get her house back up and running again. The boiler's gone, the hot water's gone. Pipes are frozen, which means there is now ice collecting in this colonial place house in Norfolk, even in the toilets. This is how cold it is. Sally McNeilan and her husband just bought this home, originally built in 1905. They've been preparing for renters to move in. While doing her checks on the property, she noticed the boiler stopped working. She says by the time her home warranty company came out, the radiators burst everywhere. It exploded. It exploded. And then it's leaked through the, sea, through the floor to the dining room below, and we had icicles hanging from the ceiling downstairs and a sheet of water over the dining room floor that was frozen. You literally could have ice skated. This is catastrophic. You know, this is about as bad as it gets. McNeilan called in Norfolk Plumbing Incorporated. We had like 30 calls before 7 o'clock this morning. President and owner Jeff Huck said when the boiler stopped working and stopped heating the house, the problem started. We actually have pipes frozen and split apart right here. You can see the ice right down there in the line. Huck said McNeilan's case is one of the worst he's seen this week, and it will most likely take his employees another week to fix the problems. To make matters worse, he predicts Hampton Roads residents will experience even more problems in the next two days. We're going to be out of freezing Saturday and Sunday, and that's when the pipes that are still frozen right now are going to let loose. Now, if you are one of those people who have frozen pipes right now, listen up. Huck said, first of all, you should shut off that main water valve completely. I will explain more of that at 6. He also passed along some more advice of how you can thaw those pipes out. We'll have all that coming up in about an hour. Live in Portsmouth, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.